Now, I want to get down to the simplest possible nitty gritty of what we've been talking about in a very easy way. To ask ourselves the question, what's all the trouble about? What's all the trouble about? In other words, what is your state of mind when you contemplate the possibility of everything becoming nothing? All right, so the universe is a transitory system, like a bubble, like smoke, like foam on the wall, like a bubble, like smoke, like foam on the wall. And so, how easy? Just go along with it. Dissolve. So, what's the problem? Why, why don't we want to give up? What do we think we're going to get by holding on and by resisting the dissolution? What I'm interested in for you to feel is what do, what do you really feel like inside at the prospect of there being nothing, of this whole thing being a bubble that dissolves. You see, about death, the reality of approaching death, people are apt to feel chilly, cold, lonely, scared because it's an unknown. The, the most frightening thing about death is there might be something beyond it, and you don't know what it is. What will it be like to go to sleep and never wake up? Nobody can think about it. But what is that state when you're teased out of thought? See, get with it. Going to sleep and never waking up. This is not, as you would fantasize it, a state of being in the dark forever. It is not like being buried alive, because then there's an experience of darkness. Now, I remember a little while ago, uh, having one of my seminars, a girl who was born blind. And I had the most interesting discussion with her, because she doesn't know what darkness is. The word is absolutely meaningless, because she's never seen light. It is what we can't think about. <laughs> That's what's watching. <laughs> in other words, the farthest we can go in thinking about nothing, you see, we get to the root of the matter. Let me put this in another way. The world is formed. Now, you cannot look for the origin of form in form. Because what you would get then would be a, a universe where you couldn't make out any form at all because there was so much of it. It would be like writing a letter on top of a newspaper. One can see form, one can see the world. Simply because there's always emptiness behind it. So you see, in this way, emptiness being the mother of form. And you can always say, yes, only the form is there, that's all that's real. But that is only saying, it's all that is figure. What about background?